What's that? First, the prey is drawn in, and the predators soon follow. That's definitely going to kill me, though, isn't it? Jesus! Okay, here we are. Hello, everyone, and welcome to freaking Minecraft, but not just any Minecraft. It's Nigel Marvin, the giant dinosaur adventure. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, this was created by Copycraft. Uh, if you know anything about the dinosaur, like Minecraft sort of field, he, he's made a lot of mods. And this, I think, is is one of like the the most ambitious, I guess you could say, because not only is it like its own world, um, but it's also got like Nigel freaking Marvin in it, he doing the voices and everything. So you give him some support of all the the socials and stuff. But yeah, don't show coordinates. I don't care for coordinates. Story mode disabled. You can activate it again at any time. Goodbye for now. No! I want me Nigel Marvinus. And what's in here? Project manager. Oh, look. The yeah, narration. There he is. Friggin' Nigel Marvin. Oh, and there's a bunch of other people as well. Ah, I thought it was just one guy. Apparently, I'm very wrong. So, let's not waste any more time and get in. Woo! Welcome to the giant dinosaur adventure. Hello. I'm Nigel Marvin, and I'll be taking you on a tour around this amazing prehistoric landscape. Ooh. Why not take a moment to look around base camp? Oh, no. Ni Nigel, I'm changing the settings. Death, this is a great food source for herbivorous dinosaurs. I, I, okay, I, I bet it is, but I wanted to the change. The carnivorous forest is much more mature than the surrounding <laughs> scrubland. It's probably been much longer since the last volcanic eruption here. Oh, I, I do like this. I like the idea what he's got going for. you got Nigel Marvin narrating it like it's an episode. Oh, do I not? I don't get to see that. You haven't that. yet discovered this environment. Oh! You haven't yet discovered. You haven't yet. You discovered. haven't yet discovered. I've discovered this one, Nigel. <laughs> this is brilliant. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Okay, okay. Right. So I think the main goal of this is to explore and just enjoy, learn a little bit about the dinosaurs. I have no idea what these things are doing. Ooh, <gasps> cake, Nigel. It's gone. Is there something outside that's making that noise? Oh. I will have a jeep and everything. Sweet. Okay. There's a cow somewhere. Oh, wait, no, it's you. This is an iguanodont. Hey, oh. One of the most common herbivorous dinosaurs in this time. Oh. Their kind have existed since the mid Jurassic and will continue to walk the earth right up until the late Cretaceous, colonizing every single continent from Europe to Antarctica. The name Iguanodon literally means Iguana Tooth. Ooh. They got this name because they <laughs> evolved a battery okay. of chewing teeth, similar to our molars. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I feel like um, the, what they probably needed to do was just like a little bit with Nigel and then have the rest as text that you could read or something. Because it, go, it, it, it does go on for a little bit too long. You haven't yet discovered this creature. <gasps> but wait, there was... Iguanodont. Iguanodont. I Ig -wan ah, don't! <laughs> it sounds so enthusiastic when you click on a creature and you don't have it. You haven't yet discovered this creature. Oh, well, we've got to take some sandwiches, torches, and... I was to say nanas, but there's no nanas. <laughs> Okie dokie. Right, so this is our map. Do we know where we are? I don't know. It should... Does it show us? Oh, can I dig this? Oh, no, no, no. Hold on. I can dig this. I don't know if I want... That's like a diamond block, right? Okay, tutorial for, me, for information on how to play Minecraft. Oh, yeah, I know that. Around base camp, you can find multiple locked figures. Reassembling dinosaurs, vehicles, and other features. To unlock these features and add them to your log, you must first venture out and discover. Ooh. Nigel will guide you and notify you when you have added something to your log. Returning to camp, you can unlock the figure which you have logged down. Tapping this figure will then read out the name. Double tapping the figure uh, will do the full paragraph. Ooh, okay. That's nice. Something like where it's an option to have a little bit more information if you so wished. Uh, items such as binoculars are available in the camp, as well as multiple food items and some spare parts. Oh my That's god! Is what is that? But it's a what? Unlike some of its Abelosaur relatives elsewhere, does it eat me? Trachosaurus wouldn't have been at the top of the food chain in I'm these parts. I'm not. Instead, it would have been overshadowed by the Carcharodontosaur, Maposaurus. 
and would have most likely have resorted to scavenging and nest raiding. Is that right, Nigel? Its name translates ah! to Thunder Lizard. Quite a fearsome one, if you ask me. Uh, Nigel, your base camp isn't very secure. This was not like what prehistoric park or, or the, the, the walk with dinosaur specials led me to believe. Um, if I go around here, it looks kind of dopey. I just want to read the tutorial, damn it. Uh, crafting recipes for custom items are available in the extended crafting table. Screen in game. Most creatures can be tamed and a large proportion can then be ridden. I hope you can be tamed. Some larger dinosaurs may allow multiple players to ride them. Oh, so you can do this multiplayer. Ooh. Crouching and interacting will also... What made that noise? Uh, cause your pet to rest and will no longer follow you or be able to be ridden. Vehicles are also allow players to ride. To fly the plane, you must be constantly moving forward. Otherwise, it will crash. And looking slightly up and down will adjust altitude. Enjoy your adventure. I, I do wish to. It is now becoming day. But you this one. Oh, this. this. Is it you this one? This okay, it's you this one. Damn it, Nigel. This off-road vehicle can cover ground much quicker than I could walk. Woo! Beep, beep! Okay, right, we need the map out. Let's go on an adventure! I don't, I don't even know. Is that the base camp? Huh. It doesn't tell me where I am, though. Ooh. Okay, let's let's go into this weird place with the torch. Binoculars, do they? Oh, that is cool! Yeah, I like this! We're on an adventure! 65 million years ago. Actually, Nigel probably told me how long ago this is, but I've forgotten. Ah! Is Nigel actually in this? I hope we find Nigel. I feel like we won't, though. Maybe it's just me. There's no AIs. Here we go. This this looks like a perfect place for some giant uh, sauropods. Although, I really don't see any giant sauropods. Oh, right. So we went south. That must be the long bit of water. So, okay, okay, okay. So if we fly all the way down... Oh god, trees! Is that an iguana done? Iguana don't! <laughs> <laughs> this plane can get a bird's eye view of the surrounding area. Okay, well, let's get in it, shall we? Jesus, it makes a loud noise! What is this, Nigel? If you look above, you can see pterosaurs circling in the sky. I don't see. For a carcass to scavenge. Pterosaurs, like some species of birds, can travel <laughs> huge distances on the wing in search of food. They remind me of modern-day condors and vultures. Go for make a flock of condors on this island. Wouldn't have a problem with it. How do we go, like, multiple... Oh, I'm gonna crash. I'm sorry! Woo! Look at me! Can we... We can't zoom out when we're like this. Oh, hold on. I got... Uh, one, two. There we go. Oh. Right, what dinosaurs can we see? We should probably follow the shoreline a little bit. Let's go. Look, look up, up, look down, down look all around. Look up in the air and on the ground. Hello. Stupid map. Where are we going? Aha, here we go. We're entering the desert. I wonder what kind of dinosaurs we're going to see. Whee! No, me map. Oh, I dropped it. Where? <laughs> I accidentally clicked Q. Oh, no. Oh. Do we, is that is that deadly? That, that thing might be deadly. I like how I didn't spot that from the air. Oh, there's another thing over here. Uh, I can't believe... Whoop! Up, up goes my map. Nigel, would you like to tell me whatever this is? If I zoom in, will you... Okay, so I, I have to I have to get to a point where I have to aggro it. Okay. Maybe we can persuade it to, to not kill me by offering a sandwich. Sandwich! Oh, look, he does want the sandwich. That's an Aeoniraptor. Oh, God, no! Despite its name, it's not related to the famous Velociraptor. Is it gonna kill me? ...of the group Megaraptora. Yes, whatever! Their pods oh. have shorter arms and use their bite as their means of tackling prey. Oh. But Aeoniraptor, as you can see here, has long, powerful arms. The yes. Megaraptorans use their claws as their primary weapon. Yeah, you can talk sweet nothings to me while I'm being ripped apart, Nigel. Quite amazing to see one in the flesh. You're welcome, Nigel. Now you can tell me all about whatever this one is, because it looks peaceful. Maybe I can land here. Huge Ooh. tracks have been left in the volcanic mud by an adult Argentinosaurus. Smaller Ooh. creatures have been found to fall into these footprints and unfortunately drown in the thick volcanic mud. Some fossilized sauropod footprint casts even contain the fossils of turtles and smaller dinosaurs. Okay, what's this little thing? 
Oh god, there it is. There's the car car. This is another iguana dunt, Anapacetia. Whereas the larger species feed on the taller conifers, this little one mostly feeds on ferns and other ground level vegetation. Ooh. Iguanodonts are one of the most diverse dinosaur groups. Hello! All you have to do is compare these little critters to their larger counterparts, and it's quite obvious why that is. All iguanodonts, even the big ones, evolved from common ancestors during the Jurassic, which would have looked very similar to this little Anabisetia. Well, anyway, Nigel, I know I know you, you definitely want to talk about this. I think that's probably the car car on the source. And it seems to be following the little baby. Oh, it sounds like copyrighted T-Rex sound effects. Cool. Anyway, uh, we're going to get over this way. <laughs> oh, my God. Anabisetia. Are you going to die? Oh, no, it's eating it. It killed it. It didn't want to eat the baby, but it ate that. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, God, it's sniffing. Oh, it's, oh, it's got a cool sniffing on him. It's not tracking me, is it? I hope I hope it's not. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, yeah, it's a little bit thicker in this area. Right, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna just drive fly by this way. What are these ones? Here it is. This is what we've come for. Is it? It's the largest land animal ever to have existed. Argentinosaurus. Whoa. A large adult can grow up to 40 meters long. Longer than a blue whale. Let's give it a sandwich. Argentinosaurus may have weighed more than eh. 75 tons. <laughs> Ten times the weight of an average African elephant. Ooh. And would have used its neck not only to reach the tops of trees, but also to help maximize digestion in order to power its immense body. You mean it, it didn't play basketball with it? Predators are sure to be nearby. We'd better keep an eye out. Yeah, well, we've, we've already found the, that one. Are you different? Can we smack this thing? Like, is that possible? Oh, we can. Oh, wait, I don't want to smack that. I will definitely die. And thus, Nigel Marvin died. Oh, I should have been Nigel Marvin. That's what I should have been. But I quite like that I'm little Chris Pratt there in the top left holding a sandwich going, Woohoo! Where'd he go? Ah! His Mapusaurus was around the same size as North America's T Rex but hunted in a very different manner. Ooh. While the Tyrannosaurs used their crushing bite force to kill their prey, Maposaurus' teeth were serrated, perfect for slicing through flesh. Right, okay, I just, I just want to see if this thing will attack like the other ones. Yes, yes, is it going to? It's sniffing. It's, oh, it ate the baby! Oh, I'm so sorry. All right, well, I, I, oh God, I don't even have a map anymore. <laughs> This lakeside is oh. a great place for creatures to come and drink. I've observed it with African water holes on a oh hot God. day. Oh, God. What's that? First, the prey is drawn in, and the predators soon follow. That's definitely going to kill me, though, isn't it? Nigel, tell me what it is. Can I be inconspicuous? Oh, my God. It's also sounding like a T-Rex. A little bit closer, you can tell me. Without it, without it attacking me. I, really? You want me dead before you tell me about this thing? Look at it! It knows! It's waiting for me to get close enough, and then I'm just gonna be like, and you die. I think maybe it's over here. These are the big ones. This must be the Mapu. Yes! Mapu Mapusaurus! And then you must be the Argentinosaurus. And what about you? Are you the Mementosaurus or something? I guess we'll find out. But first... Oh, wait, hold on, no. We've got... Oh, Lakeside discovered. <laughs> yes! And this one! Volcanic Swamp discovered. we discovered so much! <laughs> and a new day dawns on our base camp, which apparently only gives us 20 FPS. I forgot about you. Uh, I need to grab some more sandwiches. Yes, yes, yes. Yum, 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 yum. I love that. This is such a good idea. Like, are we going to ever get another Nigel Marvin series? Probably not. However, this is basically acting as one. This is great. Now, I did drop a map. Uh, that was very stupid of me. And now this is my last one. So I've got to be careful. <laughs> I'm not having out and I will not click you, I promise. Ooh, what's this? Sauropod footprint? Okay. There's some other things Look here. Look at that. Through. A snake. What? Yeah. Where? Point in time, ah. snakes have been around for just over 50 million years. Their Where earliest was it? known ancestors lived during the Jurassic and were thought to have evolved from burrowing or aquatic lizards. In modern times, snakes hold a place high up in the food chain, 
But here in the Mesozoic, they've no chance. They oh, live in I the mean, shadows of the reigning oh, group of reptiles, the dinosaurs. All right, well, there we go. And the jeep. Boink. Right, there, there it is. Hello, little snake. I was, well, I thought I could hear a hissing, but it, it turns out it was, I thought it was just you. It's not you. Okay. <laughs> right. So we've still got a whole bunch of dinosaurs to discover. We look at our map. So we went down by the lake and then followed it right. Um, so how about we go just straight to the right? We don't go, don't go to the lake. Let's just go straight right. Yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Whoa. Right, so that's the lake. We want to just go left. See what's over this way. Hello. Oh my god, there's alpacas! Nigel, a prehistoric alpaca salesman! You spit at me if I, uh... Ah! Dilophosaurus is Nigel! We best run! I'll come back for him later and we'll feed those to the Mapusaurus. First, a sandwich on the go. Yes. You know what would be cool? Like, if you had some friends and you were, like, a, a kid and you had this. You're like, oh, let's go let's go uh, do the Nigel Marvin thing. That'd be so cool. I don't know. Are you are you a separate tree? Uh, nothing special. Nigel doesn't seem to think you're special. Ooh, what is this? Is this a dried up lake bed? All right, we're going to come in hot here. Oh, okay, well, we found the riverbed. We haven't found anything in the riverbed. So, let's just follow it. Oh, you- Oh! Oh, that looks dangerous. Uh, it's coming right for us as well. Nigel, fly away from Gualacho! Which also lived here in the Huincol Formation. But if you look closely, you'll be able to notice Gualaco, like most theropods, has reduced arm size in comparison to its body. Aeoniraptor doesn't have this. It has much bulkier, longer arms. Gualacho's classification has been shrouded in mystery, some believing it to be closely related to Allosaurus, while others believe it to be a member of the Mega Raptorans. Whatever it is, okay. though, this mid-sized carnivore is without oh. doubt a ferocious predator. Hold on, we've got another one of these little iguanodonty things. You know what we need to do? Bam, smack it! <laughs> I like how we go faster on land, like, I go so quick on land, like, Ah! <laughs> not quick enough not to be hurt, though, by it, but hey-ho. Oh, look at this. A small rat-like mammal. Despite Kill it. what many people think. Kill Pinocchio! Evolved at around the exact same time in prehistory. Natural selection tossed its coin. It was the dinosaurs that would evolve to become the dominant group on Earth. At Aww. least up until 65 million years ago, that is. Mammals like Cronopio would cling on in the shadows until the famous asteroid hit at the end of the Cretaceous. Well, you say this, Nigel, yet I've just killed them, so there will be no more mammals in the future. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, that was a cool little find. I didn't think we were actually going to find anything there. Ah! Oh, I didn't know. Flipping heck. <laughs> oh, I'll never forget that. You bloody idiot. You idiot. If we follow the lake all the way, all the way down south. Oh my God, what is that? that Chocosaurus. is a feature found in most sauropods. They use it to feed at the tops of trees where no other creatures can reach. Oh. The Titanosaur group includes the largest animal ever to have walked the earth. It's the reason we're here in Cretaceous Argentina. But Chocosaurus, despite its admirable size, does not hold that title. It's still quite amazing, though, to see this creature in the flesh. You're saying that? We've already found the thing, though, Nigel. <laughs> I guess we'll have to go... Oh, what are you? Hello, dude! That's a Tovenator, a medium-sized Carcharodontosaur, close relative of the apex predator Wah! here, Macrosaurus. <laughs> like its other relatives, was equipped with serrated knife-like teeth, perfect for cutting flesh. At this size, it's unlikely Tora Venator would have hunted the larger sauropods. It may have preyed on the young ones, though, or hunted smaller herbivores, such as the iguanodonts, instead. Well, you say that, but I don't know. They look kind of similar in size to the Mapusaurus that I just saw, and you said that one could kind of kill them. So... Well, maybe that was a small Mapusaurus. 
All right, here we go. All right, all right. Yeah, the Chocosaurus. Oh, do you think we can tame it, actually? Oh, there's cookies and pumpkin pie. Oh, my God. Well, that's not it. That's just whacking it. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, this is not what I wanted to do. Oh, my God. I made a mistake. Uh, is it still following? Oh, of course, it's still following me. Please, uh, look at that iguanodon. That's a, that's a really nice thing, right? You should definitely eat that thing. Would you stop chasing me? Stop chasing me, David. Yes, go, Iguanodon. Yeah, they killed it. Oh, it's a baby one. Are they aggressive as babies? Or can I feed it the baby? Oh, yes. Yes, you're my friend. Oh, sweet. Are you going to follow me? Yes, I think it is following me. Yes, I've got a friend. I just needed to, like, right click and not left click. Not salmon, not cod. Oh, pork chop. Yeah, you like pork chops. Sweet. I thought it was a potato. I'm sorry. You don't like fish and that's all I've got. Might have discovered. Yeah, the guanosaurus. Yes. And, ooh, the torovenator. Yeah, there it is. The ambzita. Okay. Oh, yeah. We've discovered snake. Haven't discovered fish. We really need to... Oi! Stop being so loud, damn it, and sit down. Good boy. Okay. Right. Now, where is the thing that I hit? Yeah, there it is. The cornucopia. I haven't found that. I haven't found that. Okay, we've almost found all of them. There's definitely a lot. You can wait there. If you're not going to eat fish, you can stay behind. Wait, are you attacking each other now? There. There you go. Right. We'll just see who wins, right? Okay, I'm betting on the brown one. The brown one's going to win. That's what I'm thinking. No, yes, I won! Sweet! Okay, are you still leashed? You are leashed. Can I? Oh, God, if I unleash a dino. Last time I did this, it broke something. I broke it. I'm sorry. <gasps> you do! Oh, that's so cool. Okay, well, come with me. You can be like our guard dog. So I'm going to lead you. And I'm going to put you on... Yeah, that. To there. There we go. Also tell you to wait, because you might end up teleporting or something. God knows. <laughs> are you a new flyer? I think you might be. Hello. Oh my god! Alright, alright, alright. What else we got in here? Let's see. We got any meat? Oh, there's oh, there's another map. Oh, that's good. Oh my god, the Tyrannodon killed my llama! <laughs> yeah, bugger you! I should lease you next time I get that chance. You can run around, whatever, as long as you're on lead. And I'll uh, I'll see you later. Woo! Oh, you're definitely new. But you're not. This is Lima Saurus. I'll really be sauropod sauropod typically found in the can Ooh. the freshwater rivers here run Aww. from streams up in the mountains <laughs> to areas further down the valleys and ultimately to the sea. I wanted to hear more about the Lamba Lamba. You just start talking about rivers, Nigel. God damn it. I just want to have a little kaplunk in it. <gasps> what is that? Uh, there's two things. There's a oh, hello. Hello, froggy. Look at this. A little frog. Before the age of dinosaurs, <laughs> amphibians would have ruled in the aquatic and swamp ecosystems. But now the giant amphibians of the past have vanished from much of the earth, and their descendants are already beginning to look very similar to those that can be seen in modern times. My god, look at them go! What a legend! He's like a rocket! And also these things. These, I think the these are new. The water here is Lufu Ichthys. It's Ooh. a member of the Otocephala clade. It has quite a typical body shape for a ray-finned fish and is one of the most common fish in the rivers here. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, don't drown, James. That would be bad. <laughs> it looks so cool underwater. Like, I love this aesthetic. Yeah, look at that. That looks so nice and peaceful. Oh, so good. I'm becoming... Right there, Ooh. an Alvarez saurid theropod. As you can see, Hello. it's covered with feathers, reminding me of a modern-day ostrich. In its jaw, I mean to look up your skirt. I apologize. Has a row of incredibly <laughs> small, sharp teeth. At just about a meter tall, it's not a threat to us. In fact, it most likely feeds on insects and snacks on other small creatures, such as frogs. <gasps> you were going to eat the frog. Oh, I see. What are Named you? Named after the Hu and Kull formation. Die! Going to around three meters long, oh! it's a small, oh my God, it me. theropod. Not much else is known I'll about give you a this fish. creature, but judging by its size, ah! it most likely hunted small creatures such as lizards and fish. Don't call me a lizard or a fish! And scavenged kills made by larger predators. Is that right? Because it looks like it's up to me. Hold on, before we go back, let's see if we can find that fish, like the big one. 
This is a Cathartosaurus. Oh. It has a well-muscled neck, but unlike the Titanosaurs, the Rebacosaurids are unable to feed off taller trees. They prefer to browse on lower to mid-level vegetation. Rebacosaurids are a group of sauropods closely related to the famous Diplodocus from the Jurassic period. Ooh. Look at you. You got famous family. Not you, though. You're not famous. <laughs> right, what joys await us today? Oh, wait, no, we need to check in with our things, don't we? Okay, what did we discover? Not a lizard. Not you. Uh, we got a fish, I think. Yes, the Lufingichthys. Did we get... We've, I think we got... Yes. Although it was a green one, I think we saw. Haven't still seen that one. Oh, that's the green one. Okay, got that one. Still haven't seen that one either. Um, we got the turkey. Yes, turkey is acquired. Also, the Hunkligosaurus. So we need a turtle, a bigger fish. Ha <laughs> ha, we even got the frog. So we're missing one, two, three, four, five, six things. Gotcha. Okay, but we almost got it, actually. <laughs> yes, I know, I see you. Yes, Terrence. Look, wait, you can't get in that car. Yeah, this is, this is way too slow in comparison to the jet. It sounds nicer, but at the same time... Are you, wait, can you fly with it? Well, I can see the top of the cliffs. Like, <laughs> good God, okay. <laughs> it's completely flat up here. They walk around the flat top cliffs. Look at that, even the trees have been cut off. <laughs> wow, okay. This must be the, the tallest that they could build or something. Oh, here we go. We found it, I think. Look at the map. Oh, it's the bottom one. Okay, and then if we go further to the right, we'll definitely get to the big body of water, but we'll just see if there's anything here. Lungfish have remained almost unchanged for oh, millions upon millions of years. Hello! The so-called swim bladder, yeah. which enables buoyancy control in most other fish, is also used to absorb oxygen in lungfish. That enables them to breathe out of the water. You're never escaping now. This is your prison. Welcome. No pteranodons, interestingly enough. There, there you go. There's the little lungfish. Look at you guys. Yeah! You can't just escape like that. I mean, all we really need to do is just fly low enough until eventually Nigel Marvin says something. This is a volcanic flat. Is the perfect nesting place for dinosaurs. Sauropod nest sites have been discovered in places such as these. <gasps> there it is! The little lizard, finally! This is Kaikai Philosaurus. Hey, hey, Kaikai! Kai. It's a member of a group of reptiles known as the Rhynchocephalia. Adults can grow up to around one meter long, a size that in modern times would be seen as moderately large for a lizard. But here in the Mesozoic, this little creature lives in the shadows of the reigning group of reptiles, the dinosaurs. The Rhynchocephalia group is still with us today, although only one member remains, New Zealand's Tuatara, Today, oh, it's yes. commonly called a living fossil. We've got one more terrain thing left to look at, which I still don't know what is, and then a couple more dinosaurs. So we're here in the flat. Let's have a look for the nest. Oh, that'll be it. It'll be the nest. Argentinosaurus nest. Oh, <laughs> Killed him. I think, yeah, these are the rocks that I'm seeing in the middle of this area. This is an abelosaur oh. flesh lizard. In the language oh, of the indigenous charming. Mapuche people. <laughs> the abelosaurs were a successful group, but here they live in the shadow of the ferocious carnosaurs. Like its Ooh. name suggests, this creature would have most likely been a scavenger most of the time. Oh, no, sorry. I, I lied, it's fish, I lied! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, go on. This is perhaps oh! Scorpio Venator. Yes, oh, yes. the name does indeed have something to do with scorpions. The dig site where Scorpio Venator was first discovered was crawling with scorpions. So it oh. was named Scorpio Venator, the scorpion hunter. It's a member of the Abelosauridae. And like its Ooh. other relatives, it possessed a short, broad snout and very small arms. Its main weapon 
would have been its ability to bite hard and grip its prey. Oh, imagine that. The whole name is literally just because you were named after just how you were discovered. And that's it. <laughs> Didn't matter what you did. There's the Argentinosaurus, but we need more. Yeah, I've been here before. So wait, you're like the only Argentinosaurus here? Where are all the other ones? You can see the three-toed tracks left by a theropod. Found it! And look closely. One single toe can fit three of my boots inside it. They oh, must have been left it? by a colossal predator. Oh, I like it. I like that they're trying to build it up, you know. <laughs> what could have made that? It's so big. Oh, this must be poopy. <gasps> this is the other thing. Poops. That's 100% the Look thing. Here. Yes, Ed I show. knew it. The remains of a dinosaur nest. It looks as if this could be the nest of a sauropod. When sauropod hatchlings first enter the world, they're already equipped with a row of needle-like teeth, which allows them to start munching on the vegetation. So with that, guys, we're going to have to wrap it up with the Nigel Marvin Minecraft DLC. If you've enjoyed anything that you've seen, I would highly suggest picking it up. It's a good, fun time. It does give you a good map. It gives you, of course, the Nigel Marvin skin, which is the only reason you do it. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Bye-bye.